Hi right, guys, yeah, I think you have an idea what this is. Uh, you just cast some of yourself out. I'm just going to show you settings and stuff. We're going to turn them. Oh yeah, we've got the music down. Uh, choices. What's the choices? Okay, we're going to kick in to play Star Trek in Resurgence. Completely cold in. We're going to play it maybe a couple of times. One. This is just going to be a quick look at it. If I like it, we'll make it a season. Let's see. Let's kick in with it. Right, change of station. So, continue. In fact, I'm going to delete it. I would actually just launched it on the plate and went from the start to the game. Alright. I didn't even play the game. You were literally looking at what I looked at. I just wanted to see if it would run on OK on this PC. So, if not, I've always got a choice of a laptop. So, And that's got an RTX in it. So, this will... It's, up, it's so hot. What's the temperature? 29.3 at half past 10 in the evening. Right, from Dramatic Labs. Captain's log, stardate 57931.4. The crew is restless. After spending too many months piecing our ship back together, we're finally about to venture out on a new mission. <coughs> and the crew isn't letting this unprecedented ion storm slow them down. They're ready for something different. I know I am. Perhaps more than any of them. Kind of like, is it actually a similar thing? Nothing ever stays the same. Cedric. It's entropy. The nature of the universe. Change is inevitable. And while entropy says order gives way to chaos, in this case, change is good. Our new first officer is en route to the Resolute, Jara Rydek. I know she'll bring a welcome dose of new blood to the crew. Oops, maybe she might not. <laughs> Bear me up, Spotty. Oh, it's one of them, is it? Thanks. No problem. I, uh... I'm not great with flying. But these little shuttles... are the worst. You don't like flying. And yet, you joined Starfleet. There's a reason I'm not a pilot. You should try it sometime. Okay. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little anxious. I hadn't noticed. I'm on my way to my first assignment. When we get to the Starbase, I'm transferring on to the Resolute. So am I. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? it so a lot of these oops. Jara to step in at the eleventh hour like this. <laughs> but if she's half the officer I knew she could become when she was a cadet at Starfleet Academy, she'll be the XO this ship needs right now. Star Trek Resurgence. Gene Roddenberry. The creator and founder of Star Trek. <sighs> now I don't know how you control it, let's find out. Okay, off we go. Right, it's the first per it's the third person, isn't it? Right, okay. So off we go. We need to head to examine liver. A star base on the very edge of Federation space. Long way from home now. 
can you actually not cancel out? No, you can't. Look at that. Can she run? No. Uh, Commander? I'm not usually such a nervous wreck, by the way. I actually did well at the Academy. Oh, yeah? Maybe you've heard of the Torvalon test? Sounds familiar. It's a tactical simulator that makes the Kobayashi Maru look like a picnic on Pintaris 5. Anyway, I finished in the top 20. Not just in my class. I, I mean, all time. In the history of the Academy. Really? That's quite impressive. Thank you. It was tough. But you know, I set my mind to it and it paid off. Don't get so big I did. Come here, there's more. What do you want? Please place your hand here. Hold it there for a few seconds. Okay. So we do that. Alright. Welcome, Commander Rydek. Wait, you're Jara Rydek? You absolutely crushed the Torvalon test. You you finished in what, like the top three? That would be me. <laughs> now I'm really... It, it's an honor to meet you, Commander. Sorry, I, I didn't realize before. I, I just came off the shuttle and was glad to be on solid ground. The pleasure is mine. Ensign... Paul Calloway. Good to meet you. I believe Commander Ermod is expecting you. He's in the concourse just ahead. Looks like he's got sweated down air in, doesn't it? On the Resolute. Right, here we go again. Right, find the commander. Run, 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 rabbit, run, Take rabbit. Oh, why are they all running? If I stop, do they all run? Oh. If I remember my briefing, Commander Ermod is a bullion, so I'm looking for someone with blue skin. Right, so you got to look someone like, who looks like a toilet. <coughs> One of those toilet things. <laughs> right, is he there? Starbase 128 has four docks. Oh, there he is. Excuse me. You look like a toilet thing. What do you call them? Toilet, toilet crystals when you want your pee in the galaxy, Commander Rydak. I'm Commander Jan Ermot, operations officer on the Resolute. Commander? Commander? I hope hey. there wasn't too much trouble getting here. This storm isn't making anything easy for us right now. I know conditions are less than ideal at the moment. It takes more than a little turbulence to rattle me. I'm sure that's the case. Uh. We're grateful you were able to come fill our first officer vacancy at such short notice. <laughs> From everything I've read and everything I've heard, we're lucky you were available to us. Coming from a premier starship and all. To our little research vessel. What exactly have you heard about me? First in your class at the Academy. Received the Starfleet Award of Valor during the Dominion War. Most recently, Tactical Officer and Chief of Security on the USS Endeavor. You've done the your USS homework. Endeavor. Like I said, we're very lucky. The USS Resolute. She may not look like much compared to the bigger ships, but as far as science vessels go, she can more than hold her own. And she doesn't look so bad considering six months ago she was nearly cracked in half, venting plasma, fighting for her life. It was an accident? The equipment malfunction. An accident suggests fault, but no one's to blame. It was a planned test, but the warp core was pushed beyond its limits. It destabilized the dilithium, there was a runaway reaction, and the warp bubble deformed. We thought we could reach a higher resonant frequency, but 
It was more than she could handle. Cost us our first officer and 22 of our crew. At the end of the day, we're all responsible for each other. That's what it means to be a crew. I can't even begin to imagine what that must have been like for you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. It does weigh heavy. There are some things you can't forget. It's been six months. What's the attitude among the crew now? Unsettled. But I hope that a new mission will help them move forward. If not, move on. Listen, move on, move on. I realize you've known Captain Solano for quite some time, and I'm sure you're ready to bring your best. But I should warn you that when the Captain announced you would be the new First Officer, there were those who felt it was a mistake, that he should have promoted from within. So you might want to tread lightly at first. Until they come to value your contributions as much as he does. All due respect to anyone that feels that way. They're gonna have to get over it. I'm here, and I have a job to do, just like anyone else. That's true, but I wouldn't say it like that. Starfleet has assigned us a high priority mission to the Hotari. Oh, Kiko, okay, alright. We've got to get our head around this and see how it works. Okay, resume. Continue. You are kidding me. Is it repeating it again? Captain's log, star date 